Hello everyone, Saida here. Welcome to your November 2017 Oracle reading. I will be using the Angels, Gods, and Goddesses deck by Tony Carmine Salerno. Before I get into anything, I wanted to say Happy Halloween to everyone. I hope you're all having a good time. I am filming this on Halloween, so I hope you're all having a good time eating candy in moderation, doing all the things that you enjoy on Halloween, dressing up and all. So before I get into the cards that I picked, I do have them here. I wanted to go over some of the messages that I picked up for the month of November as I was tapping into the energy and shuffling the cards. So one of the things that I sensed was that the number five is going to be important for the month of November. The five represents for the month of November blessed change, okay? as well as motivation. So I do feel like the angels will be helping to motivate us, especially during whatever change is going to be happening. And I'm going to get into that in a second. Archangel Shemuel is going to be one of the angels that's going to be helping us in the month of November. And if you don't know who Archangel Shemuel is, he is the angel that is associated with finding anything, actually. I was going to say finding things, but he helps us to find anything. He, thought, uh, he can help us to find the right career, the right love partner, the right, I don't know, situation that we need to be in. He helps us to locate anything that is in our highest good or something that we're looking for. Okay, so I did pick up on Archangel Samuel's energy and I do feel like for the month of November, he is going to be helping us with partnerships. Okay, so I did get the sense that some people might have a new partner coming in and this could be romantic but it could also be business related career related it could be friendship i do feel like the month of november will be bringing in some new partnerships that will be blessed and will have a lot of positivity behind them i feel like they're going to be very uh beneficial for everyone so let's see let me just look at my notes so i don't forget anything Okay. Also, I got the sense that Mother Mary's energy is going to be prominent in the month of November, and I feel like she will be helping to bring through miracles for everyone, okay? So I feel like with her energy coming through, it's almost like expect the unexpected, okay? So I feel like she's going to be making some miraculous things happen. So some of it could be, you know, this person that's coming through. It could be a career that you've been waiting to manifest, or it could be anything at all that you've just been hoping for i just feel like she's going to be bringing through miracles into our lives in november i also get the sense that she really wants to encourage divine connection so i feel like she's saying to make sure you're taking time to connect to your spiritual team to your angels to your spirit guides i feel like prayer meditation and focused intention for connecting to the divine will really assist in the month of november especially when it comes to keeping your vibration high and vibrant, as well as just helping us to keep the faith, you know, keep us keep us like motivated and positive about what's to come. And I also picked up on the color red, okay? And I sense that with that color that represents building blocks. So I got the image of blocks being stacked on top of each other. And I get the sense that that's quite literal, actually. Not that you're going to be placing blocks on top of each other, but that you are building something. So I feel like there is another block going into what if, whatever it is that you're building. So I feel like you're building a strong foundation or you're building something which is really important to you. So I feel like you're going to keep doing that. Okay. So I also feel like reflection is going to be important for November too. So make sure you're taking time to reflect, which can go into taking time to pray and everything. Okay. So I'm going to go through all the cards and then I'll touch upon them one by one. So here's the first card and I'll try not to get the glare. Angel of Joyfulness. Always a nice card to get. Goddess of the Unknown is next. Angel of Support is the next one. And the last one is Goddess of Nature. Okay. So we'll start with the first card, Angel of Joyfulness. Okay, it says something wondrous and magical is about to happen. Okay, that's really good. I feel like with this card, the 
the whole meaning behind it is to embrace what it is that brings you joy. I feel like the angels or your spiritual team want you to do things which bring happiness to you, okay? I feel like they're saying there's always a balance that's needed, so with work there also must be play, okay? So I feel like they're saying that it's really important for you to take time out for things that bring you happiness, that bring you pleasure, that bring you joy. Spend time with friends, spend time with loved ones, spend time with people that you enjoy hanging around, that bring you a lot of happiness uh, just by having them in your company. So I feel like it's going to be really important to make time for friends and loved ones and just do things that make you happy. Like whatever it is that brings joy into your life, do those things. I feel like what's going to happen is that when you do things that make you happy, it's going to raise your vibration, it's going to keep you nice and vibrant, it's going to keep things at a higher level, okay? So it's going to keep you in a more positive place, okay? So that feels really important. Okay, let's see. I also feel like with this card, there's going to be a celebration of some kind. Now, of course, we have Thanksgiving in the month of November, so it could be that. Maybe there's something some sort of celebration going on in the month of November around Thanksgiving, but it could be something else. It could be a party of some kind that you'll be going to, or a get-together, whatever it might be, enjoy those blissful moments, okay, is what the Divine, your spiritual team, is saying. Next card is Goddess of the Unknown. A new chapter of your life is around the corner. Remove fear and embrace the unknown. Okay, so now with this card, I feel like this is representative of new life, okay? So you are starting a new cycle, you're starting a new stage of your life, but I do feel like you're still in this process of gestation. So I feel like, almost like in this card, it feels like she's wrapped up in a cocoon, and I feel like that represents how you're feeling in the month of November, that perhaps you're still kind of like gathering your energy, you're gathering your resources, you're gathering your knowledge, Whatever it is that you feel like you need to bring you into that next stage, I feel like you're building that up right now. Or you'll you'll be building that up in the month of November. And I feel like you're also, you're trying to keep a certain level of awareness. So I feel like you're really keeping a lookout. You're keeping your eyes open. You're keeping your eyes peeled for anything that might strike your attention. So it could be an opportunity. It could be a sign from the divine as to what steps you need to take next, but I do feel like this card is telling you to not take too much action just yet. I feel like they do want you, and they're encouraging you to stay in that cocoon phase. Just allow yourself to build up your energy, try not to tire yourself out too much. I feel like this is going to be important, and once you get the opportunity or the sign that you're looking for, you'll be able to act on it right then and there. Okay, so let me see if there's anything else. Also, what I wanted to say too here, with these two cards together, it feels like whatever's coming is going to be good. So I feel like it's going to bring you a lot of joy. It's just that I feel like they're asking you to not... Um, I feel like you need to take action right away. It's okay to kind of like wait to allow yourself to rest and to build your energy so that whatever comes, you'll have the energy to go after it, okay? Angel of Support is next, okay? The universe has heard your silent call for help, okay? So that is a good one. They're all, they're all good, honestly, so. The Angel of Support. Now, I feel like with this card, this is saying that Whatever you've been praying for, you're going to receive assistance or whatever assistance that you need. I also, I feel like there's someone that's going to come along and it could be a friend or a family member or someone that cares for you that wants to give you assistance. So this could be financial assistance, it could be just physical help, maybe with responsibilities, maybe so you don't have to do everything on your own. But I feel like whatever it is that you're needing or seeking, you're going to get the help that you need. So I feel like you have that to look forward to, is what uh, your spiritual team is saying. So I feel like they just want you to be optimistic and stay positive and just know that you'll never feel as though you have nothing or as if you have no one supporting you. There are plenty of people, whether alive or on the other side, whether it be your angels or your spirit guides that are going to be supporting you. Okay, and the last card, Goddess of Nature. You reap what you sow. Your dream is coming to fruition. 
Okay, so I feel like with this card that things are unfolding very nicely for you, okay? So I feel like things are unfolding very well, and I feel like you really put in a lot of work and you put in a lot of time and energy into your goals and into your dreams. So one of the messages I get here is that keep investing. They want you to keep investing, keep putting time, and keep putting your energy into whatever it is that you want because whatever you put in, it's going to come back to you, okay? So you, and it's not just going to come back to you like regular. I feel like it's going to come back to you like tenfold because I feel like with this card, it's saying it's not just the physical action. It's the intention. It's the love that you have for whatever it is that you are putting your energy into is that you, you love it and your heart is in it. So I feel like that will help to amplify what it is that you will sow um, once once things start to come together, I feel like it'll help to amplify that because you have such good intentions. So I feel like the main message for this card is kind of like what it says, you reap what you sow, whatever you put in will be returned to you and it will be returned to you tenfold. So you can expect that. I also feel like this, there's this energy where you'll, you're, you're going to become like a magnet. So things are just going to become attracted to you. People, uh, you know, different kinds of energies could be like abundance energy, positivity, joy, all these things you're going to be a magnet for. So I feel like all of this stuff is just going to come to you. Okay. So that's great stuff. Awesome cards here for the month of November. I hope you enjoyed the reading and I'll see you around next month. Take care.